This is a colonial rosewood campaign chair. Let's have a look at it, see how it all works. Well, how do we know it's colonial for a start? Well, we've got pegged joint construction here, which is a very good sign. If we look at it side on, we get a bit of a clue as to how it all folds up for travel. So let's see if we can do that now. Now, we fold the back forward. The back has got cut out notches to these two uh, sides of the frame here. They fit into corresponding locating sections cut out of the back top rail there. So we slide the back up like that, and we can see that this joining bar between the front and the back leg slides up as well and there we go all nice and flat um, it's quite an interesting design again we can see we've got little turned sections here between these long bolts which join the different parts of the frame The frame has also got cutouts so that these bolts can slide past the uh, other parts of the leg. Let's fold it back down again now. So that goes down like that. Seat comes back up. And there you have it, you've got a colonial rosewood um, campaign chair. Now the shape of the back's a little bit unusual, possibly suggests a Portuguese influence. It may be from, uh, uh, it may be Indo-Portuguese, who knows, or perhaps a little bit of a, a hangover in design there that the maker was using. It dates to, I would say, mid to late 19th century. But quite an interesting design, the way it all folds up, it's quite involved really, and uh, quite a nice example of a campaign dining chair, Rosewood, mid to late 19th century.